Hello, welcome back to Memory Space. This is Phil speaking. But right now we have some words, some words that show the root fact and its variance, meaning to make or do something. And we have some prefaces and suffixes that are combined with these rules to form these words. And they are labeled with either CFR levels or regional academic levels. In the elementary level, middle school level, high school level, college level, and post college level. Alright, so as usual, let's dive into the root itself before moving on to the study of words. So we have the root, the root fact, which is the variant of fact. So we have the root fact. Followed by the verb suffix here, meaning to make or do something. And we have many merits, many variants. So, fair, there is a variant of fact or fact. This is from the root fact. And the same pattern we have the, we have the root big, the root big. This is from is from the root back. You need to make or do something. And we have the variant of fact is fact. Since it's from the same pattern. From the same root, back. We need to make or do something. And we have so many variants in this building block. So Next, we have big. We have big. In this case, it's not the same as as big. This is from thin, or or it's come from thin or finger, whatever pronounce. This means to to shape, to form, build something. But if you check the dictionary dot com of about the the suffix by is comes from the Latin Latin root big, followed by the verb suffix a meaning to make or do something. So even though this one is not comes from the same the same root or same origin, I prefer to treat this one as as the same group of fact and so that's why we have echo. Echo is another variant of back. This is from back. And we have beat. This is from again the same root back. You need to make or do something. And lastly, we have this. Since this also comes from the root. You need to make or do or perform something. All right, so all told, we have the root fact and its variance, meaning to make or do something. That's going to help us unlock the meaning of many, many words. But the problem is, we have the root fact and so many merits. How do we memorize? How do we? Actually, memorize the root and its variance. It's without internalized, without actually learning to put the, the root and its, and its variance into our long term memory. This method doesn't work. So, the first step is to memorize or to put the root to our long term memory. So, I, I want to share my mnemonics to help you guys to memorize this root and this variance. All right, so so first step, the first step is just remember we have fact, fact, and fact. That's all. That's all you need to know. And the mnemonics device I use will be the first step will be Drop, drop T, 
The second would be drop. C. The third will be drop. T or C, but not both. All right, so what about drop T? The drop T for picked. Drop C for picked. Drop P or C, and not both for picked. So, first one, picked. Drop the T, we have pick. Drop the T, we have pick. And that consists. Remember, we have cyst. Stat. And state. In this one, I use the same pattern. It means that problem T we have we have stay, and its variants will be stale at L and stale. And this one is a similar pattern. We have tackle Berlin. L and L, we have full echo. And since back, we have we have face here. This original Latin form layer here, face here, face here, face here. here. So we have face here become fair face here become fair so that's why fair is a variant of face here so we have fair so now we have fact fact echo and fair that's the first group and the second group will be drop c the second group we have we have picked so drop drop c drop c become picked and that's the intermediate form what we want is picked Remember the phonogram. We have the phonogram that says a a e. So fat become fat, and this one is phonogram says e a. A. So we simply change the spelling from this phonogram to this phonogram, that the sound doesn't change. So from fat to fat. And we have, by assimilation, we have this. So T is our assimilation. So we have fat. That this. this one is intermediate form, so we have that that this. Lastly, we have drop drop C or D, but not both. So we have drop D. We have pick and drop. Drop C, we have beat. And that's it. That's a way I memorize the root and its variant. Alright, so hope that.
help you guys remember or memorize the root and its variant you need to make or do something all right so let's study words together right now so what's the first word first word is factor factor all right factor factor first choice of factor and we have the root back here back so let's let me be maybe you right back we have to you guys memorize more time more times or review more times so back back to back Echo. Okay. You need to to make or do something. And lastly, we have four. Her, 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 or her. Need somebody or something. All right. So actor literally means what? He means something. One of things. One of one of the things that that makes up something. That's it. One of things something from one of things that makes up something makes up something all right for example let's say as a determination determination is a key factor to succeed Right next, we have a fair, a fair. So, a, a fair, a two letter a, a fair. And we have the prefix f. So, f is a variant of f. Is with add, they followed by double consonants. In this case, is a followed by double f, double consonants. In this case, double f's. So double consonants or the letter a itself into or to word. And we have a there. Or let's review the whole form. The whole form will be back. 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 The, the first group would be drop, drop T. So that, 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 echo, there. That's from base here. You need to make. 
to make or do something. So a fair literally means what it means something something done something done by somebody or people that's it so something something done by somebody or people Um, the prefix meaning to and two words has is already implicit in the in the interpretation. So you don't see the blue color in this interpretation of the word affair. So for example, we have we have let's say uh a sexual affair and it's something something done by two people especially one is already married or we have foreign affairs foreign Affairs. So foreign affairs will be something done by people in other countries. Foreign affairs. All right, next. Next, we have artificial. Artificial. Or artificial. Artificial. E. O. Artificial. 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 All right, so we have the root party or art in a skill or craft. And we have the root, the root picked. Big, big bit. Very interesting to make or do. And we have connecting vowel. Connecting vowel. Followed by L and adjective suffix meaning relating to something. So artificial literally means what it means relating to relating to something something made by skill or crafts. Relating to something made by skill or scales or crafts. All right, so relating to something made by made by. Skills or craft. So, for example, we have artificial intelligence. Artificial 
part or a page of the story. This would be the third cell of FAR artificial. It's a brass cell. Remember, we have a phonogram. Let's say FAR. It's the third cell of FAR artificial. All right, so we have artificial intelligence. Artificial. Intelligence. Intelligence. And yes, we have artifact. Artifact. Or art. Artifact. Uh, artifact. Or we have the root. Part or RT. Part or RT. Any skill or craft. And we have the root text. And we have the variance back. And fair. You need to make or do something. So part of that would be on what literally means something, something made by skills or craft. It of something, something made by skills or craft. Is it perfect? Yeah, for example. For example, we have let's say Chinese Chinese artifact artifacts or oh, Chinese artifacts be something made by skills or crafts by our ancestors. All right, next. Yes, we have certificate, certificate. Cer certificate, 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 A. The second cell of FAR, certificate, certificate. And C says, because it's followed by E, I, or Y. And C says, but it's not followed by E, I, or Y. So this one says, this one says, certificate. All right, and this one is the second schwa cell, E cell. Remember, we have two schwa cell. E cell, E cell, and E cell. E and E. In this case, is the second schwa cell, E cell. Certificate. Certificate. All right. And you have the root. The root. Sir, which is a variant of CERN. So, CERN, 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 CRY, CRY, CRY. CERN, CERN, CRY, CRY, CRY. 
Meaning to judge, to separate, to decide. And if you are a new visitor or new viewer to my channel, this route is already recorded in the, the previous video. So if you are interested in this route, or want to dive into more or explore more about this route, I put the link at the upper right corner so you could check it out. All right, and next, next we have we have this suffix, this, this variance, this R or M. As a now suffix, it means somebody or something. And next we have a connecting vowel. Followed by the root, the root peak, the root peak, a variant peak, 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 repeat, meaning to make or do something. And lastly, we have eight. Eight. So take eight in this case is a now suffix. Now suffix. Now suffix. All right. So certificate literally means what? It means it means something. Something for something for deciding for deciding. Who you are, or what you have, or haven't done. All right, that's it. Something. It means something. Something for deciding. Or deciding. Who you are is it somebody if who you are or something what what you have or haven't haven't done. Cool. That's the power of etymology. Something for deciding who you are or what you have or haven't done. Certificate. So, for example, for example, we have birth. Birth certificate. We have death. Certificate or is a degree certificate. Certificate. It is countable as a, a birth, a birth certificate, or a death certificate, or a degree certificate. All right, next we have certify. Is the verb form or the verb of certificate? So we have certificate, 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 cer, cer, certify, certify. Ah, the fourth, the third sound via e i e. Yes, certify. The third sound via e i e. And again, C says 
process followed by E, I, or Y. And we have the phonogram. The phonogram that says Y, E, I, E is the third sound of Y, E, I, E. Y, E, I, E. The third sound of Y, E, I, E. We have certify. Certify. And we have the root sir, which is a variant of cern. We have a cern, sir, correct, pre, fry. To judge you suffer to decide. You separate. You decide. And we have the now topics to us are um as a noun suffix he means somebody or something and we have the counting vowel followed by verb suffix by which is just the variance of the root Big or big. Big or big. This problem C will have five. And since English words do not end in I, U, B, or J, I is replaced by Y. So we have the suffix I, meaning to make. Or do something. So certify it for me. So it means it means to decide to decide who you are or what you have or haven't done. That's it. Certify. So to decide. To decide who you are, who you are, or what you have or haven't done, haven't done. Cool. And for example, certified. For example, let's say we must we must certify certify what certify that that the murder murder the murder. Does, does not does not have the perfect alibi. All right, we must certify that the murderer does not have the perfect alibi. All right, let's take a break.